let's do it another video I'm gonna start I'm gonna start cranking out more videos for you guys uh, I know I made the last video about the MSI the G65 stealth that one like I said that was a $2,000 laptop so Alienware I got this other one right here too the Alienware one from Best Buy the uh, the one for 1800 and uh, I just I just open up the first box like the box that you get right away you get this you get this box first so uh, let me see if I can show you guys the specs so this is the specs on on the uh, the gaming desktop here it actually does come for one year limited warranty from Dell so to be honest, if you want to purchase Best Buy's warranty, you can. I only bought the one year, because I like I said, within one year, you're you're gonna see whether whether uh, it has some kind of defects or not. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and bear with me. Like I said, this I can't move the camera and make it closer, so I have it already set up here. Go ahead and open up this bad boy here. story about this I guess about Alienware uh, let me see what else when you actually open it up so so this is kind of interesting uh, this is very interesting so when you open it up I don't want to make this fall but you open it up everything's black black like it's pretty much like a black pillow in case I guess you can see that and you look at the very bottom of the laptop here so you're not looking at like you're not exactly looking at oh man I don't want to make I'm trying too hard to <laughs> too hard so let me move my Google home here out of the way this see how see see how this is the bottom and then this is the oh yeah so this is yeah so this is the front so so this is how you would open it like this and this is this is heavier than the g65 this is because the g65 msi weighs like four and a half pounds this actually weighs like 15 pounds so this thing's got built-in speakers uh this is, this is a 17 inch screen so versus the 15.6 whatever's uh 15 and a half screen on the msi and plus it's not a thin body it's a very heavy duty body here so and uh but the the reason, like I said, the reason why I can't I decided to buy this one is because this has a bigger screen and more sturdier. I didn't want to buy. I like I said, I returned the other one. I'm actually gonna purchase the like I said, I went and purchased the W uh, the, the the WS60, the MSI WS workstation uh, computer a uh, laptop instead of the the gaming one. So this will be my gaming one right here. And then I will do another uh, tutorial on what the workstation is. I haven't opened this up yet. It's got a thin strip here to peel off. Uh, let me see if I can power this on. The power button, the actual power button is right here. I'm trying to see what else I can. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna power it on. I'm just gonna have to bring the cord out. So, you guys already just saw. Damn, bear with me here. You guys already, yeah. 
We got a lot of stuff over here, so I'm gonna move this around. What's this? Oh, so a quick start guide here. Uh, I am gonna have to look for. In the middle, in the middle of, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, this is so unprofessional, but in the middle, you can see that the power adapter and the power cord is right here, and it's right here in the middle, as soon as I see how the laptop was sitting here, so the laptop was sitting, the laptop was sitting on this side, and then in the middle, you open the middle box here. And get the power adapter. I'll put this in. There's nothing else in here, so I'll lock it back in here. There's a lot. This is seriously a lot. This is this box is definitely twice the size of the MSI one that I had. Twice the size and Oh, this would be a pretty cool Christmas Christmas box. Just gotta wrap it around some more, but not bad. It's got a carrying case. Um, really not. It's a pretty cool box, to be honest. So, cool box here. Uh, we are gonna work on. I just gotta take off these thin film strips off here. And uh, I'm gonna work on getting this thing powered up here, and then uh, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna just power it up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So when you actually get this, this actually lights up. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got a blue LED lighting around this cord here. Right before you put uh, put the adapter into the uh, Alienware laptop, so that's pretty cool. Question is, where is this? <laughs> trying to find the port here. Okay, so okay, so the port is in the back. Okay, so the port is in the back right here. Um, you can clearly see that the Alienware button is lighting on. So I'm going to power this on. You can see it's got the full LED keyboard lighting here. This mouse pad actually lights up. And they say that you can customize the color on this one. On the mouse pad here. Where you, on the finger pad. Or, so power this thing up. Let you guys actually get a chance to see this. Uh, I'm going to make sure I'm not putting on any glare. It's probably going to be the same setup. Welcome, Windows. Cortana is going to try and hey talk there. to you. Yep. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Um, so. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay, PC. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and yeah. if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, Press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys. We'll make sure you guys can see all this stuff. I got lost. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. So, I want to make sure you guys can see this. Your region is set to United so States. So, how? See is how? That right? oh, okay, let me show you. So, how this? This just light up the finger. Oh, the mouse pad here. So. Which region do you want to use? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make sure the the camera. You, you guys can see this. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see 100% of this. Yes. Your keyboard is set. Do yes. you also type with another keyboard layout? Uh, no. Now let's get you connected to a network. 
That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Now type your credentials. Let's do this. Okay, got a lot of people. Okay. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Cool. Well, I'm Mission gonna pause this because it's gonna be probably You're gonna try and update. Up. Man, it's been like ten minutes. I'm waiting on this already. So uh, I'm still gonna pause it because I don't know when this thing's gonna be done. It's been like ten minutes already on this update. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You do get a you get the video game Call of Duty Black Ops 4 for free. That's what they said. So I'm gonna download that game and test it out because they were showcasing the video game uh, on at Best Buy. So I didn't I didn't get a chance to play the game, but I'm gonna heck, actually gonna test this game out. All right. So after 20 minutes, this thing's actually up and running. I just got done uh, putting my login for my email and everything. So. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, man. Never mind. Never mind. I just got to pause this again. I'm sorry. This actually is a lot longer than MSI one. I, I'm not going to lie about that. The MSI actually only took about, I'd say less than 10 minutes, like 7, 8 minutes for for uploading my, the software updates for Windows 10. And then the Cortana doing its thing. And then and then uh, log it into my email yeah this this actually is a little bit longer I'll be honest it's already 20 minutes into this already so I'm going to repause it and this is something that's just, this is something that you get to know especially when you're starting this computer up so I, I don't know must be a Dell thing so because Alienware is made from Dell so we'll see Finally up and running. It was just updating for like two, three minutes, and I just I just came back. So, um, yeah. Register your warranty and ensure your correct information. Cool. Let me do this. Yes. Oh, the one drive. So I mean, it, as you can see, this is the actual, you know, the the uh, what the same wallpaper uh, background that you always get with Alienware. So uh, <clears throat> what I like I said, what I am gonna do is I am actually gonna test the Black Ops game on this one. Um, let me check this out. So there is an Alienware command center. I'm actually on it right. Uh, waiting for it to pop up. So that I want to see what this thing does. Whenever it wants to pop up here, I don't know what happened to it. Come on. Here we go. So. Oh well, you guys can't really. Read it. I know. That's why we're gonna do it. Oh man, that's too much. Okay, maybe not. Well, I I can actually overclock this, huh? So this actually has a uh, a GTX 1080. I mean a 1070. So it's an 8 gig. An eight, uh, an eight gig graphics card. Uh, it's actually letting you know the temperature. 
Uh, the CPU is an i7 8520G, something, whatever it was. Oh, come on. So, what is FX? Oh, so the lighting here, you can change the lighting, go dim, go darker, you can check the lighting colors. Um, like I said, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. This is kind of like a, like a turquoise color to me. Uh, to, to, so I know, I know on the camera, it's kind of like shooting more towards at me to focus on me. So. If you wonder what camera I'm using, I'm using the Logitech 4K Brio. I thought it was I thought it was legit. It's it's not it's oh, it's better than my my other Logitech webcam, but sometimes it just focuses too much on the person versus on the selected object here. So, but um, you can change it. So you can change the color, the lighting of the keyboard and the mouse pad. But right now I just have it set at the uh, the normal turquoise color for Alien Order. Uh, let's see here. Library, what they got here? This must be. Eight. So they said this thing got a seven point one uh, sound system because there's speakers in the front, the side, and. And in the back as well. I'm just trying to see what I can do with this. Add games. Matter of fact, where's my free game at? A lot of stuff. Just trying. Oh, there's really nothing else to to look at except I'm gonna test out the I'm gonna test out the Call of Duty game. So I'm actually gonna stop recording this, and I'm gonna make another video. And I'm actually gonna record playing the Black Ops the Black Ops game. So we really wanna test it out and see how strong this thing is. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got. I mean, basically just opening, like, opening the box and and starting it up and see how the process is. Like I said, the the process is longer than the MSI. Yeah, than the MSI on the MSI laptop. So, other than that, like I said, I don't really see an issue. So, I'm going to have to check out the overclock settings and see what else I can do with it. And it looks like you can change the lighting on the keyboard and the mouse pad here. And like I said, you get this thing lights up. Like I said, this thing actually lights up in the back. Okay. Lights up in the back. And on the side. So on the side here, on the side bars, there's side lighting here. On the side on the bottom here. And on on this uh on the front front screen front by the screen here. So on the side here. So a lot of lighting on this laptop versus the versus the the G65 Stealth then on the MSI here. So it, it, it looks said like if you're not a fan of it, you know you don't want all the lighting, go with the G65. I mean it's just an extra hundred bucks for the G65 Stealth then at Best Buy. Like I said, the this this compared to this com in comparison to the G65. This has a one terabyte and a and a two. I don't know. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but it has a one terabyte hard drive and also a two fifty six solid state drive uh, versus the G sixty five Stealthton that I bought before. It only had a five twelve uh, a five twelve a five twelve SSD, but it wasn't a Samsung. It was a SanDisk. So so. Matter of fact, let's run a benchmark on this. I forgot about that. I'm gonna run a benchmark on this. And I know that 
Uh, that that is the two different the the two differences. They 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 both have the ten the ten seventy graphics card, eight gig. Uh, and the same like I said, the same processor. It's just that hard drive space is different. So MSI has the five twelve SSD. This has a one terabyte hard drive and a two fifty six uh, SSD here. Let's see here. We're gonna run a a full benchmark on here because I want to see what this thing's got. Here we go. User bench. I like using userbenchmark.com. So <laughs> I want to make sure you guys can see this, but it's actually just the camera's just focusing on me versus the laptop itself. So it's kind of tough to work work around here. Um, I'm gonna download this. I'm gonna run it. I actually just I actually just want to know. I actually want to know what the parts, the brand name parts are, in inside. Like what the terabyte, what the one terabyte hard drive, what the brand name is like. Is it Seagate? Is it uh, Western Digital? Or uh, is it uh, what else? Is it Toshiba? You know. So and then I want to see what the RAM, what uh, what the brand name for the the, the RAM sticks are. You know, reason being why I like checking this out is because when when you buy from from Best Buy, they don't really tell you what the brand name of the of the components are. So even if you're buying like the top of the line PC, you know, I, I know that I tested out their Alienware R7 desktop and the uh, CyberPower PC up there as well. And like the graphics card and the processor is legit, but everything else is all right. So you gotta, like if you're gonna get the best of the best, you might as well get the best of everything. The best SSD, the best brand name for the SSD your hard drives, your RAM, and then I mean your graphics card and your processor, you know, they they have it down. They have they they have it really um they have it put down. <clears throat> How do I say this? They they have it all set out for the processors and the graphics cards, but but realistically, like you know, the the small components, you know, they just throw in like you know, Toshiba. Or, what else? Samsung? No, not Samsung. Um, you know, random, random part names that you don't know, and so that's why it's kind of it, it gets kind of tough when you're working, when you're buying the best, you know, when you're buying the like the top of line product or the top of line model at the store, you know, you will always make sure, and that's why I always run a benchmark so I so that I know exactly what these parts are. And I have no idea. Oh, so it's probably gonna run like probably gonna, depends how fast this takes. Usually about three five minutes, three to four minutes depending. And then uh, we'll see. I'm gonna see if you guys can actually see this because I, like I said, I tried. I tried. I showed it before on the MSI and. I want to make sure you guys can see, you know, the actual results. Yeah, this camera is just more focused on me versus the laptop. And yeah, so wherever I go is trying to refocus on, on my face. Trying to get this thing, come on. Or not. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see, let's see. Uh, 
I know it's almost done, so. Or not. All right, cool. Here we go. Thank you. All right, so uh, let me. Okay. So they're saying that this PC is likely operated by a technical master. The scores, to be honest, the scores are a lot better than the MSI G65 Stilton. Uh, so if you watched the, uh, the other video, it's, yeah, the, uh, the performance ratings and the benchmark ratings were a lot lower than the Alienware here. Maybe Alienware paid them good money. Just, I don't know, I'm just saying. But anyways, um, it, based on, let's see here. Yeah, so it has the uh, i the Intel Core i7 8750H processor. Uh, it is six cores, twelve threads. Uh, let's see here. Okay. They say my base clock is two point two, but then I the turbo can go up to almost four four gigahertz, so you can basically double double the speed on the processor. It's got NVIDIA GTX 1070. Like I said, it's an 8 gig. Uh, the SSD is a PRM Samsung. Uh, oh no, a PM981 NVMe Samsung 256 gigabyte. And then the uh, the ter the one terabyte hard drive is from HGST Travel Star. 7k 1000 i never heard of hgst so uh, like i said i i, I don't know I, i'm not familiar with that name maybe someone else can tell me about that brand uh the memory is an unknown name uh but it is two eight gig sticks so it is running at 16 it's just 16 gigs of ram at the uh 2400 mega um uh, uh, megahertz so I am gonna take a copy of this for sure uh -huh. and yeah well I'm trying to get this game I'm gonna test out this game here uh, let me see Now remember, there is an R7, there's an R7 laptop. That that's the i9 processor that actually can come with the 1080 and bigger, like it's bigger than this one. So and so it can actually ha have like I think 64 gigs of RAM instead of instead of having 16 gigs. So to be honest, like if you have the money. It, it's gonna cost like six seven thousand for that one that's just why I'll be honest and I don't need like I said I don't I don't really need that so really with this you can you can do almost anything with this I mean I would say with multi-threading on video editing well I, I, it'll be kind of different that's why I have my workstation laptop because that thing has the uh, uh, the other different types of gra graphics cards for workstations, like for AutoCAD and uh, and the uh, web design, all that stuff. So, but I mean, with this, like I said, I'm gonna find out. Like I said, I'm gonna find out uh, on how strong the gaming platform is on this. So I'm really gonna say I'm really excited to test this one out. And like I said, there's nothing wrong against the MSI one that I got. I just went and got the WS60 
instead of the, and then return the G65 back. But like I said, the overall ratings are a lot higher than the MSI, and and I mean I'll put down the link, the Best Buy link. Like I said, I don't get paid for anything. I'm just putting out this video because I want to show you guys what this laptop is and opening it up and starting it up here. So, but the next video I'm gonna I'm gonna run the Black Ops game because I got it for free. So, other than that, like I said, so I'm just repeating myself. So, other than that, I'm just gonna um leave it and like I said, leave it as the way it is. And I said, I mean, appreciate each and one of you guys watching this. So. You know, feel free to go test it out yourself. And, and I mean, to be honest, like I said, to be honest, if you were looking at the most expensive laptop, you know, comparing to the G65, it's 1999. It's like two grand already. And this one, this one they're selling for 1899. And like I said, the, the two differences is just that the, uh, the internal storage. So the, the MSI, uh, G65 has the 512 gig, and it's a SanDisk. They they say it's it's a Samsung, but when I did the actual benchmark, they said it was a SanDisk. So that's why I was like, I don't know. So and then this one is the actual Sa Samsung, but it's not the Evo or the Pro. So so, but I mean it's still a Samsung SSD, and then. And then I, just, I never heard of the name H the HSGT one terabyte hard drive, so it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna have to look into that. And then like I said, yeah, other than that, they they both have the 1070s. They both have the the i7 the i7 8750 uh, processor, and and to be honest. I could not on on the MSI the Dragon settings. I could not overclock anything. Here, they actually they actually let you overclock. So I'm actually going to test the overclock settings on this. As, and so they already, <clears throat> I can overclock the CPU and the graphics card from what I've seen here on the on the Alienware Command Center. So that's that's a that's two different. I would say that's two different things that that would make me buy Alienware more than the MSI. So, do you, like I said, like I said, if weight if weight's not an issue, because this thing weighs like 15 pounds, if this is not an issue, I would you know, take this guy. You get a bigger screen, and you get the full LED lighting, keyboard, everything. Uh, you can customize. You know, you can overclock it. You got more storage. Uh, let's see. They both run the same uh, processor and GPU. Same CPU, same GPU. Uh, let's see. And yeah, this thing's a hundred bucks less. So, like I said, this thing is you know a hundred dollars ch cheaper than than the than the one they have at the store. So if you were gonna compare, like I said, it like I said, it weight's not an issue. Unless you really want the thin, the thin G65 still thin. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that one. So, I like I said, I just gave it back to them right away. I didn't get a chance to test out any video games on it, so I gave it back to them the next day, and I said, I want the, I want the MSI W, uh, the WS60. Now they don't have a workstation laptop on any of the Best Buys I've been to, so, so that's why I went and bought it online. So with this, like I said, with this, I mean, get a bigger screen. You know, more storage, the full LED lighting, and you can overclock, and you have, and you have overclock settings versus the MSI didn't have it. So, like I said, the, the MSI only had that the turbo fan speed set up, and that was it. So, unless, like I said, unless you buy the five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand dollars laptop, because those things, those things are more powerful than these ones that cost two grand. So. I know it's a long video. <laughs> I know it's a long video, so but but I mean like I mean the same thing. So but I'm, I'm gonna make another video for the Black Ops. Like I said, you get a free video game with with this Alienware. You don't get a free game for MSI. So yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna let you know right now. So 
and plus you're paying hundred dollars more. So if you think that the MSI is worth more, you know, then get the MSI. So, but realistically, I would just, I would just get this. It's a hundred bucks less. You get it's a bigger screen, same uh, same processor, same 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 graphics card, and I'm just repeating myself. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks thanks for watching this. Like I said, uh, yeah, any questions? That you that you might have about this laptop or in comparison to the other one that I did you know I can I can comment back out there for you guys <clears throat>